In this video, I'm going to give you a short explanation of what Node.js is, why we need it, and how to install it. You might wonder why do we need Node.js. One reason is, for the purposes of this series of videos, it's super easy to install and get up and running. Then, once you and I have set it up, operating system differences will be much less of an issue. Another reason Node.js is going to be useful to us is because we're going to use a few tools that depend on it. Those tools will help us move fast and focus on building all the cool HTML5 stuff we're so excited to build. The last pitch I'll make for Node is that it's a useful tool to get acquainted with. I assume you are someone who's trying to learn about new useful tools to advance your career. Node continues to be a really useful server-side framework, and it's highly likely that you can use it either at work or for individual projects. But what exactly is Node.js, you ask? Node is a server-side implementation of JavaScript. It can do many of the things you might do with PHP, Java, Python, or Ruby, for example. It can handle web requests and make database queries as a few examples. I love working with JavaScript. I understand it really well, and I can quickly express what I want as a programmer using it because it's so easy to work with. In the past, when I needed to write full stack code for an interactive web app, I might be working with JavaScript on the front end, but inevitably would have to switch context to write server-side code. This might have meant switching to yet another language, and switching context is a disadvantage. Cognitively speaking, context switching can slow you down or make you lose track of your thoughts. This is especially true when you're working on something as cognitively demanding as making a web app. So plus one for Node, since I won't have to switch context when writing my server-side code. That said, I recognize we are all often locked into a certain server-side technology and can't do anything about being required to switch contexts. Also, Node.js can be really performant in certain situations. Just to summarize quickly why we're using Node.js, we're using it so we can all share a common baseline. We'll use it as a development server, but it won't be involved in any server-side logic. Just so you know, I won't go over how to deploy Node.js to production. It actually wouldn't be necessary for what we're building. The code we make on the front end won't depend on Node.js, so you can run it with any server-side technology you want. The reason is that our code will only be static pages that you can serve up with whatever server-side technology you're most comfortable with. Let's get Node.js installed. For Windows, first open your browser and go to nodejs.org. Once you're there, the best thing to do is just click the big green install button. This will start downloading Node. Once it's done downloading, you'll need to install it. In Windows, you'll have an MSI file. All you have to do is go wherever you download it. Mine went to my downloads folder, and I just double click on it and go through the prompts to install it. The installer will take care of everything. It's actually a very smooth install process. Now, let's see how Node.js is doing. First, open up the command line. Now, using what you know about how to get around on the command line, you should switch to the desktop and then the HTML5 web apps folder, and then we're gonna go to chapter one. So you type cd desktop, that takes you to the desktop. And we're just going to take this one step at a time to remind you how to do it. Then you type cd html5 underscore web apps. And now we're going to type cd ch1 to go to chapter one. Now we're going to run a little program that I put in chapter one for you to confirm that Node.js is working. So all you have to do is type node example.js and hit enter. Now you'll see you have a message that reads server running at http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 81.24. Now we can go to that web address in your browser and see what our server has done for us. All right, so what you've done is you've started a web server powered by Node, and you should have hello node.js. Node is working. Good news. Now we're ready to use Node to build our web app. 